What's up guys, Jay Check here, and today we are going to be talking about the $55 MacBook Pro. said we're going to be talking about the $55 MacBook Pro. We're going to be seeing if it was worth it and what all it can do. So kind of like my last video, I got this MacBook off of reddit.com slash r slash appleswab. I paid only $55 shipped for this MacBook. So as you can see in the background, it was actually very well packaged and came with the original charger. Anyways, let's move on to the condition of this MacBook. So now looking at the condition of the MacBook, it doesn't look too bad at first, but the more you look into it, the more you notice. There are some scrapes and blemishes all over the MacBook, but what mostly stands out are these two major dents in the top, and the bottom is in overall really bad shape, with a lot of small dents and all the rubber feet missing. So besides the physical damage, this MacBook does have a lot wrong with it. When I first got it, it didn't have a hard drive or a battery, but those things were easy to install and find online, and I ended up using a battery off of Amazon and a Kingston A400 128GB SSD for $20. Next, I found out the fan made some weird noises, so I went ahead and took out the fan and it was full of dust, so I cleaned it out with compressed air and it fixed up the noise issue. Next, the hinge was severely loose, so I decided to fix it. It all started with taking off the screen, which took about 30 minutes, then I had to take off the bezel to get to the screws, and boy, were they loose. So it took me another 30 minutes to go ahead and put it back together. But after all of this was done, it was fully up and working great. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! So, the screen on this computer is broken to say the least so it may not look like this but it is extremely dim like I know the video it doesn't look like it but it is extremely dim let's see there's marks and there's also a slight humming coming out of the computer I'm not sure how well the mic's picking it up but it's so annoying in real life so yeah that just randomly happened when I was at school one day so I'm gonna go ahead and put this new screen on it so yeah let's go ahead and get to that so, for taking off the screen, it took about 20 minutes for me, as this was my second time doing it. On these older unibody MacBooks, it's actually pretty easy to replace the screen. All I had to do was take off the bottom cover, unplug all the connectors and the screws, turn it on its side and take the screen out, and repeat backwards to reinstall. So let's talk about the specs of this MacBook. This MacBook is a mid-2009 MacBook Pro 13 inch. It has the upgraded 2.53 GHz Core 2 Duo and has 8 GB of 1067 MHz RAM, which I manually upgraded from the stock 4 GB that all came with it. For the GPU, it has an NVIDIA GeForce 9400M with 256 MB of VRAM, which is standard in these models. And finally, for the hard drive, I manually installed a 120GB Kingston A400 S. SSD. So now, let's see how this system performs. So when it comes to performance, I don't really have high hopes. Let's start off with simple tasks. Due to the SSD and RAM upgrades, the system is very, very usable when it comes to normal browsing, watching YouTube, working in pages, or more. So let's get past that and see how it performs in some benchmarks and gaming. So when it comes to benchmarks, let's go ahead and start off with Cinebench and see how that does. With Cinebench, it was quite bad to say the least. Firstly, it took over 16 minutes to finish. Using Cinebench Release 20, the MacBook got a 238, which is, well, really bad. Now, let's move on to some games to see how those perform on this MacBook. So, quite a few games just plain out wouldn't work, so I had to choose free light games to try. First, we're gonna start off with the game Brawlhalla, which actually runs perfectly on this MacBook which is quite surprising. There are no hiccups, no lags, it just runs absolutely perfect. Next is the game CS. Yes, the original Counter-Strike. It runs okay on this MacBook, but I was having some mouse issues, but it is playable FPS wise. Next is the game Stick Fight, which should supposedly be light and work great, but in reality it runs horribly. It is basically unplayable and runs at like 20 FPS on the lowest possible settings. Alrighty guys, so that was the video going over the $55 MacBook Pro. In total, I spent $187 on this on upgrades and repairs. And would I say it was worth it? Yes, I would. 
So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.